All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be a real quick one. I'm just going to be talking about uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Did a video uh, a couple days ago, or I think it was uh, sometime last week, uh, that he was basically saying on his Twitter that he was going to be done with UFC after one more fight. I believe he has one more fight in his contract, so after that he'll be, you know, scot free, able to go when he wants to. Um, scratch that, he's now said that he wants to be released from the UFC now like pronto like he doesn't even want to fight another fight he just wants to be let go and he says that there's uh you know there's better fights for him in other shows and i'm just um i'm really confused by this you know i really don't understand like what he's you know what he's talking about i mean who else is there to fight outside of zoof owned uh ufc i mean if you don't go to the ufc or strike force um where else are you going to go i mean there's bellator but who do they have i mean they 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 have nobody. That's that's who they have. They have, they have no big names at Bellator. Uh, there's Dream, so I guess he could fight in Dream. I mean that makes sense. Um, but who are they going to put against him? I mean, there's not a lot of great opponents out there. I would like to see him fight Fedor though. I really like to see uh, Rampage versus Fedor. I think that would be a really fun matchup to see. Maybe in Dream or something like that. That'd be very cool. So who knows? Maybe uh, M1 Global's been trying to get Rampage or something. I mean, I don't know. That's just speculation. Just a guess from my side, but. Uh, that's a dream matchup for me to see uh, Fedor versus uh, Rampage. I think that would be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, will the UFC let him out of his contract and let him go? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, that's not something they usually do ever. <laughs> they don't let guys out of contracts at all, especially if the guy is saying that they want to go to, you know, another company. Um, that just, like, that never happens. Like, you have seen Zufa. I can't see them ever letting somebody out of their contract to go to another organization that they don't own to fight. Yeah, I, I don't see that happening at all. So I still think that uh, we're going to see Rampage fight at least one more time in the UFC, despite what he says, because I just don't think Dana White and the Fertitas are going to let Rampage off the hook. He's got one more fight with him on contract, and I do not think they're going to let him out of it um, you know, whatsoever. Um, that being said, you know, um, who, who's his next fight going to be against in the UFC? I mean, if he gets his knee all healed up and he's in good shape again and he's motivated, uh, I think he could beat, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, anybody from top five to top ten. Uh, I'd like to see him fight Shogun. I think that Rampage versus Shogun would be a great, great fight uh, for his last fight in the UFC. And then after that, maybe fight Fedor or, uh, you know, some other, maybe some other guys like that. Um, in terms of time frame, we're probably looking at seeing Rampage fight again in, um, let's see, probably late summertime, maybe August, maybe September-ish. Hopefully not longer than that. October, if uh, if he's got a lot of problems with his, his uh, you know, knee and he needs surgery and that kind of stuff in rehab. But um, I want to know from you guys, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, who do you think would be the best opponent for Rampage? I think Shogun would be. I think that would be a great fight. Um, other than that, in the UFC, you know, I'm not really interested to see him fight too many other guys. I like to see him fight Hendo, maybe. Um, who else is there? There's a lot of other good guys, but you know, really, I'd like to. I, I think I'd like to see him get a rematch with Shogun. And then after that, I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, if he's not going to be under Zufa, who's he going to fight? Like, if he fights Fedor, I'm down with that. I will. Definitely watch that if he fights Fedor. That would be a huge fight for Dream. Um, but other than that, I mean, there there aren't many guys at 205 that aren't under Zufa. And, like, I can't even think of any, you know, like like any at all. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Somebody mentioned a notable um, opponent at 205 that isn't under Zufa right now. You know, because I can't think of even one. Anyway, uh, so, you know, regardless of what Rampage says, I still think he's going to be in the UFC for at least one more fight. I do not think they're going to let him off the hook. Guys can't really request to be released. I mean, the UFC, it's, it's bullshit, their contracts. I mean, they, the UFC can tell guys, you know, when they're going to be released and fire them, basically. But guys can't really quit. You know, they get locked up in these contracts and they can't quit. You know, even if they want to, they just can't because of the way the contract is structured. And, uh, you know, it just favors the UFC and their decision making. It doesn't favor the fighters. So I think no matter what, uh, Rampage is going to end up fighting once more. Um, probably, who knows how it's going to be. If it's against Shogun, then I think that he'll come out, you know, in good shape. Because he doesn't want to get his ass kicked and, you know, <laughs> he doesn't want to be, uh, you know, laying on the cage or in between the ropes again like he was, you know, against him last time. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about it. 
you know, this could be the beginning of the end for Rampage. You know, I mean, if he thinks there's going to be a lot of other exciting fights out there uh, for him outside the, of Zufa, I I kind of tend to disagree. I mean, I don't know who he's going to fight outside of Zufa. I really don't. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one later. Peace.